Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today I thought I'd share with you some Star Trek cards I sent off to PSA to get encased. Um, I didn't get them graded because um, kind of, of an issue that they're not actually pack inserted so they couldn't grade them. They're actually artist proofs that came directly to me even though they're part of an official set. But I thought I'd share them with you. I, I mostly sent them to get them encased because as you can see, they are metal cards. Actually, I might have trouble trying to show these. They're metal cards that I had, I was worried about getting scratched up, so I sent them to be encased. I'm really not sure if I'm gonna be able to show these, um, just because of the the way they're printed and, and the lighting. Um, let me just kind of show quickly. I apologize uh, for the flash that comes off the plastic when it's shown on camera. Um, I actually did another video of these before they were encased. Um, they're really nice cards. Uh, they're printed on aluminum, uh, so they're um, they can easily get scratched, and that's one reason I sent them off. Um, I got to do 49 paintings for the set. They were supposed to be 50. Um, but we had one of the other actors wanted a lot of changes made and we just ran out of time so um, we did 49 cards instead there's the back of them um, I'll be doing some more that'll be coming out later this year um, I'll try to angle these so you can kind of see them without the glare um, I'm really pleased with these cards I really like them I think it's a neat way to uh, to do these as you can see it's not they're not graded just mentions it's an artist proof as you can see in the back um, it's an artist proof one of one of each card um, has my name on the back unfortunately they didn't get my name on the front because there was not enough room um, we kind of go through these kind of fast there's a bunch of them I want to bore you with cards I saw some of the originals for these going for several hundred dollars I've seen them three to four hundred each um, the originals for these paintings were actually inserted into packs um, the only other way you could find these cards um, was also printed on a short run of 50 per image um, that were printed on the aluminum Sorry for the glare, it's kind of hard to show these. For two instances, there's the cards that are already shiny metal, and then you've got a... It's funny, because the longest time, this woman looks like Alyssa Milano, and that's who I always thought that was, but it's not. Uh, I wasn't always into t Star Trek as much, um, until I actually started working on it, and I watched the old original versions, um, uh, for some projects and I actually even as kind of hokey they are I actually like them better than the newer Star Treks um, some of these were highly detailed in painting it's hard to tell on these cards um, but you can see all the different textures in her clothing um, uh, some of these I had to redo I think there was another version of this guy that I painted a different version of originally and then they go to CBS to be approved uh, either by CBS itself or the actors um, also have rights to themselves so I have to wait for them to also approve them um, I, it's one of my favorite ones I actually have a, another version of this that's actually wasn't pack inserted um, I was going to try to get all of them but they're costly so I'm Glad I had this artist proof set. As you can see, awesome colors, but they scratch easily. Um, so that's, like I said, why I sent them out um, to be encased. That way I can display them at some time. I'd like to get some type of cases because to me it's, it's artwork. I mean, it's like you're getting yourself a metal print of your artwork. Um, and these are actually, like I said, all one of a kind. So I will probably keep them all. Um, I've 
sold some in the past for Game of Thrones that were metal cards, um, but I only had one of those. But these I really like. Um, like I said, there'll be more of them from other future sets. Miss Spock, who's a great guy. Um, and the back, I, I think the colors are different on the depending on the card. It's Captain Kirk. I'm really happy with them. I I was kind of worried uh, they might get washed out being printed on the metal because there is no white. So whatever, like the eyes is all silver underneath. Um, so you don't get all the white highlights as much. But they still came out really vibrant. They're really nice. I actually changed this one a bit and made the outline more of a flesh color because when I did it white like the original it I knew it was going to be harder to see so but I got a lot of these 49 of them um, they're really nice I just got them back the other week um, and I've been so busy actually working on other Star Trek art and baseball art that I haven't had a chance to show them on video they do cause a weird glare on the screen when I'm recording but uh, for the most part you can see what they are um, I'm hoping to get back in the routine of doing more videos it's just really tough I'm like super swamped right now with artwork but I'm trying to get back to getting some more content up on my page I don't want you all to get bored of me there we go of course, she was in Orange is the New Black was a good show she was on Netflix. This is one of the later ones that I finished, I remember. And some of these, there wasn't a lot of photos of them. Um, this character, Lita, there wasn't um, a lot of images to go by, so I kind of just had to wing it. But they're really cool. They're pretty heavy when you have all of them in boxes. Just a couple more here. And this guy's wild outfit of the 90s, I guess that was from. And here's my last few that I have. This was a crazy detailed outfit. Took me a while to do that. And this one. I did uh, several versions of this one. This one was actually um, a different pose before. And so was this one. Um, if I would have known, I thought I covered this all to the top where it would have been cut off, but it wasn't. So you kind of see the the fade where it wasn't cut off. But still cool. He had I had a different pose of him also. He had a lot of different costumes on the show. And there's one more. And Whoopi Goldberg is my last one. Hope you enjoyed these. I really enjoy them. As, you, as I mentioned, they, they have different borders. And it's probably per show, because I see this one's blue. So I'm not sure if it, what the significance of the different colors were. So hope you enjoyed those. I will try to get some more videos up as soon as possible. and. Thank you for tuning in. Baby Yoda says goodbye. <laughs>